Hello there you guys, welcome to another one of my live videos and today I'm just going to be officially um, updating you on some more Kuna latest transfer reports. I've just been reading some uh, media reports today, you know, of what, uh, what's uh, been going on in the media. Um, as I've currently uh, said guys, I've been reading a lot of reports of what have been going on in the media. So potentially, when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been coming out and he's been saying it's unlikely that Manchester United will make any signings in this January window. And he has confirmed he doesn't expect Manchester United to make any signings um, in this current January transfer window. But we all know the key areas we do need to strengthen up. So potentially central defender we need someone on the right i think we need a centre defensive midfielder that's fast and tenacious and we need because obviously all our attack is coming from the right side um, as we all know and tansy so far six wins out of six holly gunner solskjaer and it's looking very very good um under holly gunner solskjaer um, at the moment it's six wins out of six 17 goals scored and three clean sheets um at the moment and solskjaer knows the culture of the club he knows the strappings of the club and he knows the club um, inside out because he's a great great player for years and you know he works with some of the players in the reserve team and he watched them um, grow and develop um as we all know um, did um Solskjaer, um, as I currently said, but yeah, six wins out of six, fantastic spar, and you know, he's brought the fear factor back to the club as Solskjaer, you know, he's got Pogba get, getting the freedom, you know, to express himself more, and he's getting the front men, you know, to interchange closer together, he's getting the full backs high up the pitch, and you know, totally, it's all changed since um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's coming, but I still think players are going to leave, um, as we all know, but potentially, we know that obviously Colour Barlet um, has been heavily linked to a move to Old Trafford, uh, the Italian press, uh, we were reporting yesterday, it was in the Manchester Evening News, that uh, reportedly, uh, uh, reportedly he would uh, leave uh, Napoli if Manchester United were to put an offer in for him. Obviously Manchester United um, have held negotiations with Napoli um, over this in the process so far. We've had three bids turned down. The recent one was £95 million. Pounds, um, that had been turned down, um, as we all currently know. But we know he's been heavily linked to a move to United. Uh, he wants, he, he's been in Italy, you know, a number of years now as colour barley. And I think, you know, he does want to leave, um, as he has confirmed. I think majority of it was uh, due to his racial abuse he suffered last year, um, back in December. He has got a contract uh, with Napoli um, until 2023 um, as colour barley, um, as we all know. But he dramatically improved our defensive line. You know, he'd be really, really good. And then, and he complimented the likes of Victor Lindelof, who's playing well this season. Bay, who has obviously been in that the team this season, but you know he's still got a very, very good potential. But Colour Barley, I think, does you know want to make the move to Old Trafford? He only paid seven million pounds for him, you know, from Jank, um, as we all currently know. So Colour Barley would be a great, great signing, um, as we all currently know. I think he does want to make the move to Old Trafford. Um, he did confirm that also to uh, Real Madrid, um, of course, uh, would also be um, interested um, in Colour Barley um, as well. But he's a great, great player. You know, he's obviously our main priority target. You know, to get in our defensive line, but. Um, obviously, reports have uh, been coming out, you know, potentially that Man United would sell a couple of players. You know, there's been talks of um, Marcus Rojo potentially getting sold, but I don't think that'll be to the summer. Because, to quite honest with you, Rojo's had a difficult campaign, you know, to quite honest since he's come to Manchester United. He's had a difficult time at Old Trafford. You know, he's obviously there as our backup option defensively. He's been struggling to get everyone at games, you know, behind him, and he's, you know, had a lot of lot of injury problems, you know, since he's come, you know. So he has been struggling to keep fit um, as Marcus Rojo. So, reportedly, we are, we are preparing, you know, to sanction um, Marcus Rojo off him. Um, as we all know, to make some room um, in our defensive line, um, as we all know. Obviously, Colour Barley um, is our number one target, you know, to get in. You know, obviously, Napoli president now has obviously come out and he's confirmed that Napoli are not willing to do any business in this January transfer window. So it's a deal that will likely probably happen um, in the summer. But he's one of the best players in the world, you know, in his current position. And obviously, we know it would cost him the access of around over a, over a hundred million pounds, you know, to get Colour Pali. But we have got that financial power, you know, to meet his valuation. You know, we've spent over four hundred million pound on this team, but there's still certain areas, you know, where we do uh, need to strengthen up, um, as we are um, all currently know. So he's obviously our number one target. Um, is Colour Pali. So the Manchester Evening News reported yesterday if any offer was to come from Man United, any more offers, you know, he would consider coming to the club uh, with Colour Barley because I think he's interested in coming. He's had enough in Italy now. His performances for Napoli have been um, absolutely uh, fantastic um, as well, uh, as we all know. And uh, potentially, you know, there's been other talks as well. You know, we've been, you know, interested in a few other defenders as well. We know Milan Scrini has been mentioned. He's 23, so potentially he's four years younger uh, than Colour Barley. Greenier, but Lucia Spell has come out in the media and he says no one can afford him because he's rated around 70 odd million pounds and he's only 23 years of age. And I think he'd grow and develop, you know, very, very well under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, you know, to be quite honest with Milan Screenier because he can play as a centre back and he can play um, as a defensive um, midfielder um, as well, uh, can Milan Screenier. So Milan Screenier 
you know, I think it's a very, very good player um, as well. And we've linked with a host of other central defenders. Um, I think Phil Jones, obviously he's good when he gets them run of games, but, you know, he's known for injuries. Um, he's Phil Jones, you know, um, to be quite honest with you, he's known for injuries. Um, so I think he'll be going next season. I think Smalling will be going next season. I think Smalling's uh, still injured um, at the moment. So I do think players will be going. And obviously, you know, reports have been coming out um, about Antonio Valencia um, as well. I think he's going to be staying at the club until the summer. Then I think he will, de uh, will be departing um, in the summer, Valencia, because he's either played this season um, in our team, you know, Antonio Valencia, to be quite honest with you, because obviously he's made over 300 appearances he's been here he's won everything here apart from the Champions League and he's been here since 2009 so he has been here now was it what is it nearly 10 years but he's hardly played at that right back position because obviously Ashley Young um, is obviously um, our first choice right back um, as we all know um, and he's made over 300 appearances and won everything here and he's you know been here since like what 2011 is it or something um, like that um, Ashley Young um, as I currently said so I think Valencia probably will be going in the summer um, I don't think we'll probably come to an agreement of getting him a contract extension on his contract but obviously we are in talks of getting we are currently in talks of getting um, Ashley Young a new contract, Juan Mato a new contract, and Ander Herrera um, a new contract um, at the club, um, as I currently uh, said. So we're in talks uh, over that uh, as well. There has also been reports coming out uh, uh, recently, you know, about Douglas Costa because actually Manchester United have reportedly been interested in him. Uh, Douglas Costa has been mentioned in the press quite a few times. Uh, obviously, he's fallen down the pecking order since Ronaldo um, arrived there um, in two far in. Well, last summer he's fallen down the pecking order reports uh, from Italy still suggesting that reportedly we're interested in Douglas Costa there has been potential talks of Paul Pogba and Douglas Costa um, as a potential swap deal it said Man United were willing to go along with this but I don't think Paul Pogba will leave now anyway I think if we would have still had Mourinho you know Paul Pogba would have left uh, but obviously uh, him and uh, Pogba and Matic obviously missed training um, on Wednesday well which was yesterday due to that you know Pogba's wife and Matic's wife um, had given birth um, midweek so potentially they did miss training as we all know but um as I currently said to you guys, you know, I don't think this will happen anyway, but there's been talks of Pogba and Douglas Costa as a swap deal, but I don't think Doug, uh, Juventus are willing to sell him off in this current January transfer window anyway. I do like Douglas Costa. He's aged 28 years of age. He can play on each win, um, as we all know, and he has grown and developed fantastically well. He can dribble, he can put crosses um, into the box as well, can Douglas Costa. So I think he potentially, you know, complement um, our team, you know, fantastically well uh, with Douglas Costa. And he's, you know, he's... 28, you know, he's still got quite a few years ahead of him. I know he was very, very good when he was at Shakhtar Donetsk and he was good at Bayern Munich and he was good when he was a lot younger in his prime with Guerrero. So he has grown and developed very, very well. And he can score and he can provide uh, can Douglas Costa, uh, as we all know. And uh, what's also going on in the media um, as well, there has been talks of uh, potentially, you know, David De Gea, um, as we all know, potentially he's, commi he's, he's committing his long term future um, at Manchester United. Um, he's David De Gea, um, as we all know. Potentially he's, he's demanding that he wants around £300,000 a week. Uh, you know, to obviously sign a new uh, long-term deal at the club. He reportedly wants to be one of the highest paid players because obviously our highest paid players, uh, player at the moment obviously um, is Alexis Sanchez um, on half a million pounds a week, um, as we all know. But David De Gea, as we all know, fantastic performance he put out against Tottenham. Um, as we all know, uh, David De Gea is potentially the best goalkeeper in the world. Since he's been here, he's made over 300 other appearances, nearly kept you know 100 clean sheets in the Premier League, and he's won Clubs Player of the Year four out of five seasons. He's won the Smack Busby Player of the Year, you know, quite a few times. So he has won everything here, of course, apart from the Champions League. Is De Gea? He has, you know, been here since 2011. We know, so that's a good eight or nine years. But we know potentially, you know, Real Madrid, you know, were close to getting him here, um, in 2015. Um, as we all know, uh, David De Gea um, as well. But I think potentially he will commit to a new long-term uh, contract. Contract term, as I said, he's happy at, in, at Manchester United. Um, he's David De Gea, so he does want to stay here. Uh, does David De Gea? But the reports coming out saying that Real Madrid and obviously, you know, Juventus um, would also, uh, sorry, well, Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain, you know, had been linked to him. Obviously, you know, when we had uh, Jose Mourinho, uh, of course. Uh, potentially, there's also been talks um, in the media as well. I'm giving you the Man United transfer news that reportedly Scott Montominway could be getting uh, loaned out um, as well. So potentially, you know, uh, there has uh, been talks about that as well. Scott Montominway getting loaned out. I do think Fellaini will be leaving the club as well. Potentially, with, there's been talks about you know Man United are going to sanction Fellaini off, and I think Solskjaer um, is keen on doing this, getting rid of uh, Marion Fellaini because potentially he doesn't complement our midfield anymore, um, as we all currently know uh, Marion Fellaini. Because potentially Marion Fellaini, you know, we've had him since 2013. I think he's made over. 150 appearances, you know, since he's been here. He has been here since 2013, but obviously, I don't see how he fits in this new regime at Manchester United, you know, to be quite honest with you. So, reportedly, we're looking to sanction him off for around £15 million pounds or something like that, uh, Marion Flaney, because he doesn't complement our midfield. He is slow, just like Lukaku's slow up front for us, and Matic is slow, but to be quite fair to the man, Matic, he's really, really improved um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He's effective in his passing, he's getting forward more, more forward thinking, and he has dramatic.
proved um, is Nemanja Matic um, under um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, um, as we all know. But I think, you know, we look very, very effective in the midfield, you know, with Pogba, Matic and, and, and Herrera, we look very, very effective. And we look very, very effective in our front line, you know, when we've got a... Um, when we've got, you know, Martial on the left, who's very, very good on the left, who, who left, who creates that with very, very well. Um, his pace is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think Rashford's very, very effective in the centre. He's very, very effective in the centre. Uh, Rashford, only 21 years of age, and you know, he'd been a United player since the age of seven, and I think he's made what is it, 150 appearances now for us, and you know. Lingard's very effective um, on the right, so I think we'll look very, very effective, um, as I said, in that front line with Lingard on the right, Marshall on the left and Rashford centrally, you know, but if you put Lukaku in that team up front, I think he's a player that can make an impact, uh, an impact, you know, from the bench, you know, Lukaku, because I think dramatically he will improve under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, but I just don't see how Lukaku fits in our front line, to be quite honest with you, because obviously you've got Marshall who's got pay got pace and Lingard who's got pace and they, they all can press high up the pitch Lukaku can't do this he is a proven Premier League goal scorer um, as we all know he's a Romelu Lukaku he's a proven Premier League goal scorer as he has you know done throughout his playing career you know um, in the Premier League uh, Romelu Lukaku uh, but as I said he's, you know people have concerns about his first touch and you know he does have weaknesses um, in his game you know uh, Ron Lukaku, you know, um, to be quite fair, you know, he complements um, our front line, um, as I currently have said. So I do think there will be players going, um, as I said. Obviously, now Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is the number one now uh, to get. Obviously, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now um, is the number one, you know, to uh, get the job on a full time basis at Manchester United because he did say he'd love the job on a full time basis. Um, did Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and he said it would be hard. You know, Solskjaer did say in his perspective, you know, it would be hard for him to leave Manchester United because he's got us playing the United way. He's got the team motivated. You know, he's got us playing with confidence, creating more chances, you know. You know, Pogba's getting the freedom to express himself more, you know, and we're just playing very, very well so far um, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Um, as we all know, the has, obviously, Ed Woodward's number one choice, um, obviously, has been Richard Pochettino, because he's been our number one target, you know, for a long time, you know, to come in at Manchester United on a full-time basis at the end of the season. But, obviously, recent reports have come out about that, that Pochettino's happy at Tottenham. He does have strong reservations about leaving London. Um, does Pochettino, um, as we all know, yeah, yeah, he has reservations about leaving Tottenham. Uh, potentially, Dan Oliver came out and said uh, he's reluctant to let Pochettino leave, and he's been ruthless um, over this situation regarding Pochettino. He did say, even if we were willing to offer it in the excess of fifty million pounds, you know, to get Pochettino, Dan Oliver would not. Uh, Dan Oliver would still be uh, reluctant, you know, to uh, let him leave. I think he's happy at Tottenham. He's got a new stadium coming up. Off my back, an early. Day. I said, yeah, um, about Mitchell sure Pochettino, guys. Um, as I said. Um, Potentially, um, yeah, so it's unlikely he's going to Solskjaer um, is the number one choice now, um, as we all know, at Manchester United. Um, so anyway, there'll be back more live videos very, very soon. Man United, Brighton, will be come, preview will be coming up very, very soon. Uh, drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do. Consider subscribers always and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.